Yo, what's happening, my people? It's your boy Chance Jollibee, aka Smooth, back with another video. So today, what we got right here, we got Conway, Slant Face Killer. So, uh, this right here, it don't have a lot of songs, but, it, but it's songs, but it's a long project. So we got 14 songs. It's an hour and six minutes. I listened to this. I went to the store. I had to bring somebody to the store. I was sitting in the car. I listened to it. I wish you basketball. I had it in the headphones. Yo, it felt like this album was like two and a half hours, man. It felt like that. But it's good. Like, he, he's phenomenal with the rapping. Like, you know, Conway do his thing, man. Most of the Griselda brothers, they be spitting. The production side on a lot of the joints is good. He tries to step out of his comfort zone a little bit on some tracks, man. He got like a little bit more hyped up stuff. Got like a little strip club song and stuff. And a, a little something. Try to diversify, diversify the portfolio a little bit. The thing I don't, I don't like about the project, he got way too many features on there. He got a lot of features. When I name them, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So let me get into a few of the features. So they got Stove Guy Cooks. Cool and Dre, Larry June, Method Man, SK the King, Flea Lord, Swiss Beats, Joey Badass, Key Glock, Ryan Maxwell, Tech Nine, TF, 211, Abso, and Raekwon. So it's a lot of people on the joints, man. This is, it's, it might be a little bit too, too much. Usually on these projects, man, I like to. I like to uh, break down each song and stuff, but this is going to be a little shorter one because I was listening to this on the go. I was listening to this in the car. I was listening to this while I was hooping. I was paying attention to the music, but I didn't have any anywhere to uh, like really take notes because I was on the move. So I ain't got no notes for you, man. I'm not going to break it down singular, singularly and all that, but I'm going to tell you the joints that I like on the project. And so that's three, give and give. Number four, Milano Nights, part one. Uh, six, Meth Back. Meth Man went crazy on this one, man. Like, he still got it. He do his thing. Number eight, Vertino, uh, featuring Joey Badass. And Joey Badass, he kill it, man. A lot of people might think about him on the acting side from being in power and stuff like that. But Joey Badass, he been spitting, man. Brother been cold. Number nine, Ten and Raya Interlude. So it's, it's basically like two joints in one. And the ten... Is fire the riot interlude sound like some little Uzi Vert shit or something, man? It's trash, in my opinion. I, I don't like the, the interlude, but you can just press skip after 10. Number 13, Karimi, and number 14, The Red Moon in Osaka. I love that beat. This might be my favorite song on the project. This is featuring Raekwon, but he's not rapping, like, he's just talking about Griselda and giving them props and stuff, and then like the beat. They got like enough beat to make another song. Like it just runs, the beat runs for like about almost two minutes. So you could, you could uh, loop this and make it another song if you, if you want to rap to it or anything. But overall, man, with all the features and stuff, like it takes away a little bit more Conway. Some songs is like way too long. Like it's only 14 songs, but it's still an hour and five minutes. So a lot of songs is like five, six minutes runtime. But I guess they're trying to stack in let everybody on the uh, features get their shine on and stuff it's a little bit too too much it take away some of the little, the little strip club stuff i can see you want to you want to do something like i would be i would be tired if i was conway like this i couldn't imagine like too many females in the crowd like i would want some want some bitches in, in the crowd eventually or something i don't want it just to be a, a sausage fest or whatever pause but but uh yes i ain't too too mad at him for that but overall, it's something that I'm probably going to listen to, but it's, gonna, it's a few joints that I'm probably going to be skipping or I'm going to like a joint, but then whenever the feature comes on, I'm probably going to skip. So I would get, I would dock it down to like about a 7.5, but it's still a solid, solid project, man. Do its thing. The production side sounds very good, man. So that's just my little quick thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest and the most hated man. I'll let you boy.